Well, you know, I'm from Rhode Island, and that's a very different situation. We've got a million people at 48 miles long, 35 miles wide, not like North Carolina. But, uh, you know, my dad was a public school teacher. My parents were products of the public school. Me and my siblings were all products of public schools, and all of my four children, my wife and my four children, are products of the public schools. As Governor Hunt said, the public schools have been the backbone of lifting people out of uh, poverty, if you will, low income, a lot of immigrants that came. My grandparents were Italian and there's some Swedish background. They all came here and elevated themselves, provided for themselves and their families on the backs of the public schools. It's the, it's the great untold story about how important public schools have been in this country state by state, in lifting up uh, incomes, lifting up the economy and producing uh, young people to, to really grow the nation. And that, that's really a wonderful story. And from my experience, we're not like North Carolina. Our pay, teacher pay, and the spending in schools is amongst the highest in the country. Uh, and uh, the support by the public, generally, I don't know what you've found, Jim, but generally it's been very good. Uh, every bond that we've had for our state universities uh, to add the new schools for engineering or chemistry or whatever it is has been supported by the, the voters. Uh, and generally I find that people in the community have, you know, a high regard for their local school. They want, they understand that they, they want to see the school do well, they want to see their children do well, uh, but they're generally supportive. Uh, and. Uh, so I think uh, you know we need to do more and, and ways to try and support the teachers. My dad was a teacher. I taught for a couple of years when I got out of college, and uh, it's a tough job, and it's gotten tougher because when I was a young man, you know, you didn't worry about discipline in the classroom. Everybody sat down and you know were polite and so forth. So it's uh, but it's a great story. It's the, it's been the economic driver for this nation. Has been the output of public. K through 12 and then the, then the public universities.